this video, I will show you three different places to stay while you are here. We will take a free walking tour, explore the ancient Roman baths and soak in the beauty of Bath Abbey. So join me for an adventure filled with history, culture and breathtaking sights. Just arrived in Bath and it's raining. Just my luck. Gonna go and find my hostel now. Go me, I found it. Bath backpackers, five minute walk from the train station. This is my dorm room in Bath and I am bed number nine of a 12 berth dorm. Snug as a bug in there. They also do have lockers. One of the other places you could stay is maybe in the Travel Lodge, which is a middle of the road price hotel. If not, you can stay. There is a beautiful five-star hotel. I will put its details down in the description below in case you fancy a, a night or two there. Wow, so I've been into my hostel, dropped my stuff off. Just going to find something to eat now in a pub called The Raven if I can find it, but the cathedral looks amazing with the lights on inside. So the Raven is the recommendation for the hostel to go for dinner tonight. Just ordered the local steak and ale pie with chips. It looks amazing. Oh, and a glass of red wine. This is Penorsia. This is the emblem of the UNESCO organization. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Culture Organization, UNESCO short, gave us this in 1987. The limestone our guide is holding is between 135 and 205 million years old. It's from the Jurassic period and it's what makes Bath so special. On the 11th of May, 973, King Edgar, who was the first crowned king of all of England, was crowned in the Saxon Abbey. In the 1400s, the medieval chapel fell into ruins. It was then it was replaced by the abbey we see today. There's the River Avon down there on my right hand side, 25 feet lower, and those are the parade gardens over on my left hand side. Those gardens down there are where we know that Jane Austen attended concerts, Park Place and book readings way back in the early 1800s. This is the gorgeous Pulteney Bridge, and it was paid for by a Mr. Edward William Pulteney, who was a British MP. It is quite unique because it has continuous shops on both sides of the bridge. The sandstone in Bath in Jane Austen's time was as she described, white, bright and gay. The stone then matures down to a golden honey colour, but there was a third colour, black. This is because Bath is in a U-shaped valley. Just think, on a cold winter's day with 80,000 Georgian fireplaces all burning coal and all that soot. Queen Square was built front only by John Wood the Elder roughly between 1728 to 1736. The window tax was imposed in England between 1696 and 1851. To avoid paying the tax, people bricked up their windows. The 25th, 26th and 27th of April 1942, the Germans came up from northern France and flew into the valley 160 times over the three days. 417 people were killed and their names are on the memorial, including 56 children. 19,100 buildings were also damaged or destroyed. These beautiful five trees here. They weren't here when the houses were originally built. This was actually a paved courtyard. Nicholas Cage used to live here at the circus at number seven and he was superstitious so there is no number on number seven. So I'm now stood in the Crescent and if you have five and a half million pounds to spare you can buy a house here. Is the start or finish of the long distance Cotswold Way walk. There are 67 rungs going up on this ladder and there are 64 coming down on this one. 
and that is because they say that it takes longer to ascend to heaven than it does to descend into hell. On either side of the door here, on this side, there is Paul, and on this side, there is Peter. So I've just finished my walking tour and now I've come to the Roman baths. I can't believe I've never visited before. So on one side you've got the cathedral and you can see how high the level is here. And turning around to the other side, this is the Roman part, you can see how much deeper it is on this side. This is England's only hot spring and the bubbles coming up it's not because the water is boiling it's the gases coming up from the earth's core This is part of the roof which collapsed and it landed in the baths. The roof would have been as tall as this area right here. It must have been amazing to be in those baths and to look up at the vaulted ceiling. This is where you taste it. <laughs> the Sally Lun and the Bath Bun are both sweet treats that have become synonymous with the city of Bath. The Sally Lun is a light brioche like bread and is often enjoyed toasted with butter or various toppings. The bath bun is smaller and sweeter and a sugar cube at its centre. I have a sweet tooth, so for me the bath bun is my favourite. Stopped into the Pulteney Bridge coffee shop this morning, it's lovely! Had breakfast at the Pullman coffee shop bridge with a lovely young lady called Erin from my backpacking hostel. She's from America. Hello, Erin, if you are watching. And just on the end there, that's where I had breakfast this morning. This little area is a hive of activity in the evenings. Goodness me, look at that. This is the west window of the Abbey, which was completed in 1894. This is one of the newest windows in the Abbey, and it shows the crowning of Edgar as the first king of all of England. This is the first example of fan vaulting, created in the 1500s by King Henry VII's master, Masons. I've paid £15 to go up the tower. The first one is 11 o'clock, so I'm literally just waiting now to go up. I've had a walk round the Abbey while I'm waiting and it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning, it really is. Well worth a visit. I'm looking forward to going up. I think there's 212 steps to go up to the tower on this one and it takes about an hour hour and a half, round and round, up and down the gate. Wow. Goodness gracious. Wow. Look at the views across there. Stunning. A 
Okay, we're going up to the, right up at the top where the bells are now. And it's a lot narrower and a lot steeper. Goodness me, right at the top. I've made it right to the very top of Bath Abbey. The views are spectacular. This is the Bath Spa up there. Unfortunately, I'm not sure I'm going to get time to go. Oh my goodness, these stairs are so narrow. That if you're in Bath, definitely pay the extra and go up. It is amazing. Definitely get here at 10 o'clock if you want to do the tower tour because they don't do advanced bookings and it gets really booked up quickly. This is the clock face. That's where we were just stood just a moment ago. If you don't feel like walking around Bath, there is a hop on, hop off bus and it costs about 20 pounds. So my two day quick visit to Bath is just about coming to the end. I'm just gonna walk down and get a train ticket to go back to Southampton now. I've, I've really loved every minute of it. I can't believe it's the only time I've been here. I definitely recommend you to come here. If you're coming to the UK, make sure that Bath is on your list of places to do because it's fantastic. Loved every single minute. If you're on a budget, definitely recommend Bath Backpackers.